What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope you have a good end of your week to start your weekend off. We're going to jump into, like I said, we've been going through replaying some of the old Cold War stuff. So we're going to, the last map that we have to do is Forsaken. So we're going to do that right now. And uh, then we're going to go back to uh, MW3 probably more and more and more. Um, as you can see, and I put it on the community page of my uh, YouTube channel here. So if you want to go check that out, that's fine. Uh, I am going to be starting a second channel. It's not going to take away anything from the Call of Duty Zombies channel at all. It's really going to be when there are times like this with Modern Warfare 3 where there's not a ton going on. So we can hop on, we can stream, we can do kind of whatever. Um, enjoy it, have fun, check out what's new, go over some old stuff again, whatever. But um, I'm going to start doing some walkthrough gameplays because we were talking about some games and like, hey, have you played this? Have you played that? Well, I'm like, man, I haven't played a bunch of this stuff because most of my time is spent doing this. So when there is kind of some time, like there really would be now until season three reloaded comes out, there's really no new zombies content. Occasionally there's a new weapon. We try that out a little bit or the weekly challenge to unlock a jack conversion kit or something like that that we do. We check it out and like, okay, now that's done. I mean, it's a day at best. Uh, it's one stream. So, um, like, you know what, there's a whole bunch of other things I would like to go back and check out. I have a stack of games over here that I've never played, that I bought, that I've never played. Um, watching the Fallout TV show, uh, I was kind of like, man, you know, you know what? It's one of those games that always look cool, but I never got around to it. There's a sale going on for um, Bioshock. You could buy, you might have seen on the, my homepage there. Let me just show you again. All these three games, well, you know what? I think it ended already, the sale. But you can check it out, whatever system you're on. Bioshock Remastered, and 2, and Infinite. Uh, this whole thing was either 5 or $10. I don't remember which, but it was very, 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 very cheap. This, Fallout 4, on Xbox Game Pass right now. And as you can see in the top left, all I have is Core. I don't have uh, the premium version of uh, the Game Pass. So... Um, you can download that for free right now. Have I tried X Defiant? I did when it came out. The, like they did the original beta, which was was that a year and a half ago now? Something along those kinds of lines. Um, <clears throat> it was fine. I didn't find it to be that much different than Call of Duty. That I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave Call of Duty, you know, to go and do that. But I mean, it was fine. I didn't have any real issues with it. I also didn't really love it. So we'll see. I know they've been, you know, threatening to release it. And I think there's some kind of test going on right now, like a server test, right? Something like that. Um, I don't know. It was all kind of fine, whatever. Um, I, if it's just like a multiplayer kind of a thing, but you know, like typical, like hard point domination kind of stuff. Unless... I don't know, they, unless the, it just feels great um, and different from Call of Duty. Like I said, I, I, I don't think I'll be switching over to it. I might go back, we might play the... I, I definitely, as far as I can remember, I think I streamed uh, the beta again, whatever that was. A year and a, was, it, was it really like a year and a half ago, something like that? It was a while ago. And I know there's been all kinds of issues with it. A lot of people thought, like, it's just flat out not ever going to come out, which uh, it will, but, um, uh, you know, God knows when. And I think they're doing a server test right now for it. So uh, at this point, I'm just kind of like, okay, fine, but uh, I'm just going to wait and see. There was, like I said, there's just nothing special about it that was like, ooh, I absolutely love it. I'm going to, I want to go do that. No reason to take up more space on my hard drive for a multiplayer experience that is basically exactly like Call of Duty when I already own Call of Duty because of zombie stuff, so. I wonder if they're going to add more to it, though. Like, if, if it'll... If there'll be, like, some third-party modes or some other stuff. Beta's out again. Yeah, I think it's a... a yeah, I mean, basically, yes. Been getting a ton, like it was a lot of publicity because a lot of people were very interested in it. And I know I put out a video on like uh, how to download it, I don't know, whatever it was. It's again, it's been a while, man. 
um, that did fairly well for my channel, especially when, like, if I, I, I occasionally, even, like, the GTA 6 trailer I uploaded and, like, nobody cared because it's not, you know, it's not where you go to look for GTA stuff is my channel. Like, it's Call of Duty zombie stuff, but uh, people were, were interested in the X Defiant stuff, so, um, I know there's a lot of interest around it. I just, I don't know. I don't see... I don't, I'm, I'm not that interested. From what I played, it was fine. Like I said, I'm, I'm repeating myself again and again and again. Uh, it was fine. I, I I don't have anything more to say about it, I suppose, than that. So we'll see. if they Again, if they do something, you know, they add something more to it, like, cool, I'll check it out. But for now, I'm good. Requiem. How nice of you to join us. Just Ooh, in time didn't even to mean to hop up there. Greatness. This is an overcup, Jenko. Zykov is ours. Oh, this is lovely. Just keep feeding me. I could just keep feeding me. Whoa. Okay, so it's been not actually that long since I've played this. I played this, um... I did a solo playthrough... A month and a half, two months ago, maybe, of this? And then I played also with Mitchell. Uh, we played through it because uh, he was not able. He hadn't completed this map. Uh, I think he'd done all the other ones. Yeah, because we did the. Uh, we went and did his reward at the uh, at zoo, right? So I'm pretty sure this was like just the last thing that we needed to get done, and he just hadn't done it yet. So uh, it's not been that long since I've been on here, which is kind of unusual for me because this is probably. Oh, well, it definitely is my least played of the uh, Cold War maps. It's not my least favorite. That would be Fire Base Me. But it's definitely my least played one. I don't know, this one kind of... To me is all about... Failed potential. Just, I don't know, it just... The way the tiles are set up, it just looks like there there could be mo like it sh there should be more. There should be some more fun things to do and to find, or you know, a better use of the space. Um, and it just kind of doesn't really get there for me anyway. Some people really dig it. And again, I, I you know, w whatever you like is what you like. I'm not saying you're wrong for liking something. I'm just telling you this is not my favorite. Please go down. Thank you. Like all of this stuff back here is just kind of like, okay, there's got to be something. And uh, there's just, there's just not really. I mean, there's a couple of little things, I suppose. It's not that there's absolutely nothing, but I don't know. Anyhow, whatever. That's it. Wasn't a bad map. It was, uh,. kind of a bummer when you, you know, the year starts off great, and then you don't finish great. Certainly not about to let you ruin this moment. Free token. If you're nice, you get one free token tower. per game. This is it, my friends. Once we have Zykov, Omega oh, Omega you know something I wanted to try, actually? Um, I think, you know how you have to shock the, the arcade? Uh, you could use Tesla Storm, you can use, um... Where the hell's the part? You can use Deadwire on your gun, get a kill near it. I think you can, uh, even use, if I remember rightly, if I or remember what I saw correctly, um, somebody, you, you could use, like, a, a, a stun grenade. I just chuck it at the machine and, and it'll work. Which is weird, but we're gonna give it a shot. Just to see if that actually will work. And like again, with most Cold War stuff, uh, the, the, you know, the, the steps and everything, I was like, I kinda remember most everything, but... It's okay, like it's there's nothing that's that difficult to figure out. So anyway, so like we'll get it. I already told you, stop meddling with my work. Okay, 
it. Coming? I know your big brother. He's in a different game. Yeah, that was simple enough. Okay, we didn't even need to use our juggernaut suit. Alright, fantastic. Oh, he didn't give me... Oh, he didn't give me armor. You bastard. Almost always he drops armor. That sucks. Alright. <coughs> Let's go activate this button. And uh, do you guys want to see the cutscene? Might as well put it in there, right? I don't know. Should we leave the cutscene in? Tick-tock, Requiem. Once again, you're too late. My friends... You did it. You brought me home. Uh, I have long awaited this day... ...to take... ...what is mine. <laughs> Why does he sound like Dracula? The day dark is a wolf. I want to suck your blood. I mean your soul and take it into the dark ether. Oh. I didn't realize he was the creature. You fucking fool. The wolf was at our door and you let him in. You have doomed us all. <laughs> the gas line. Sam, what are you doing? What I have to do, Reaver. For the good of us all. This is not your world to pay! Sam got strong. It was kind of cool seeing her, like, how much stronger she got with her abilities throughout this game. Kind of like, dang. Hey, okay. Uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I was treating that like uh, like Modern Warfare 3. Where you just walk up to it and touch it and instantly pack a punch. Here you have to pick what you want. Uh, so yeah, I didn't put on dead wire there because I want to go check this thing out. So we're going to have a look at this. Um... Let's go get parts that we need. Like so we're gonna have with the phase. You'll need an this boy off. come charge us here. There you go. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay. Let's pick that up. But that and then we'll have him shoot the crystal. Is it still just this last zombie? I mean, almost definitely the abomination's gonna. Oh, I thought it was. There we go. This way. This way. Dude. Come on. No, don't go in there. Just right here, right here, right here. Oh my God. Here, man, here. Wait, did he? Whoa. Did he do it? Oh, oh he Actually, did. I guess those abominations are good All right, it, it looked like the regular crystal. That was peculiar. Okay. Colonel, this isn't my fault. You get that right. I couldn't have known Zykov was the forsaken. Now, he's no 
This feels like it's shooting really slow. I don't know why. You excited for uh, Gulf War Zombies this year? Dude, you have no idea. Like, desperately, desperately, desperately. Uh, I don't have... Do we have enough? Yeah, I mean, super unbelievably cannot wait for Gulf War Zombies. I do not have enough. Okay. Um, I also don't have... Oh, we could have bought, like, a Molotov, right? Molotov would work on this thing. Let's see if we can run it around. Before it blows up on us. I mean, we don't, like, need it now, now, but... Why not, right? I don't know if this actually will work. Yeah, I, I, I'm not seeing it. I don't think it worked. I don't think I've ever tried it with anything other than the flamethrower. Uh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> uh, Kanoka, what's up, man? I'm good, I'm good. Alright, <laughs> as I usually do with this game, I just start messing around. And not just kind of like, not paying attention. Really. Or not giving, not even not paying attention, just not giving any kind of respect, to be honest with you. Um, uh, okay. So we have a lockdown we can go do. I need... Uh, need a flamethrower would be great. Well, I was going to say, what the hell? I don't even see where that's coming from. Okay. Um... Neutralized. We're gonna go do the lockdown. We're gonna do. I mean, we're gonna just get to get like one of those per round now, anyway. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Like we don't need the to get the flamethrower now. Uh, the transition between BO2 and BO3 was amazing. Do you think the same will happen with this next card? Um, you know what? I would love to see that, Jockley. Like what I've been saying about. Uh, well, what I hope really is going to come with Gulf War is a step up like this this game is is Cold War it was fun but it's very easy right that's what I'm saying like I, I'm just I'm not giving it any kind of respect I'm ju really just kind of like half-assing you know going against these zombies like I'm not there's no I don't feel like a real threat even though I did go down like right now I could be in trouble if I go down here game's over and like it's kind of you know laugh in my face uh, because this actually, this step is actually kind of difficult, but um, overall, like this game is just, it's just a little too easy, man. And uh, I mean, the zombies themselves, they just made you so powerful in this, and it's not bad to feel powerful. I mean, it's, you know, it's good. The, like, it makes it quite replayable. You know, you feel like rewarded and fun and you're having a good time. You're not struggling super hard constantly. Um, but it could be a little like, well, I mean, what's the big deal, right? You know, you've done it. Time to move on. Like, let's go get the next thing. So I'm hoping that like this game, Gulf War, you know, or if that's what it's actually going to be called. I'm hoping that it will be somewhere along the lines of you know, uh, between BO3 and Cold War. Somewhere in, in there, I think would be a, a nice sweet spot. As far as difficulty level and stuff, everything goes. Uh, I think that would be a good place for it to land. Jeez. It's been red screen for a while. So if we get that, like, uh, it'll be good. I don't know that... I mean, it's, it's easier said than done. Um, one of the hard things about zombies is, you know, it will give Cold War credit for this, like, the steps that they do have, like, they make sense. We're gonna try this, by the way. Like, they're fairly logical steps, um, when you're trying to solve a puzzle, but it's hard to make those kinds of steps good and challenging at the same time. It can just be, we can go get that part. It could just be too simple, too basic, you know what I mean? The so, we'll uh, hello, Fred well, Bear. A 
Ethereum. Most high school college black ops golf war. I'm pretty sure zombies they're coming to Middle East was early nineties and they're gonna to go wait. I guess maybe for zombies. I mean it's gonna be like if it's the first Gulf War, it's that's ninety one, so it would follow five years after when we left this game, which is about eighty six, so that would definitely follow. The problem with Cold War Zombies is that every map uh, was a reused asset. Yeah, I mean, the only thing, I, I'll say this, I've said this a bunch of times about with D-Machina and Noct. Um, they didn't oversell, they didn't overuse, ow, they didn't overuse uh, Noct. They, it was really there just to say to me, at least in my mind, that look, this is not the same storyline, but there is a connection. So this is the Dark Ether story. We hit you just coming off of the Ether story. There is a connection, but it's you know like it, it it's connected, but it's it's not what it's about. And they didn't go super hard into like again. It wasn't like all the stuff like going through the history. Whoa, this is this is back when blah blah blah. You know, they're not really going over that. They didn't do that. And then the other stuff with the maps being reused assets, it's one of the biggest flaws to me in this game. But you have to remember, like, you cannot discount this. You can't take it away from Treyarch. They made this game during a global pandemic, and they were all working from home. You were literally not allowed uh, to be in an office setting and, and to go to work. So they made this game from home. So as far as that goes, I give them a ton of credit that this game was even playable. I mean, how many uh, Call of Duty games come out that, I mean, they don't even really work at launch. I mean, I don't mean to bash BO4 because it gets way too much hate because it's a good game. It's a good zombies game. But the blue screens were a nightmare. Um, think of World War II and the whole, uh, what was that area? Like the 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 compound, the command, whatever that area. You know, like there's a whole, supposed to be a whole social thing about it that they were trying to do. Um, which... At launch, just flat out didn't work. Uh, there's been just a lot of that kind of stuff in Call of Duty. So that they were able to make the game functional even was a half of a miracle, right? <clears throat> uh, in World War II? No, no, no. I'm talking about the um, the multiplayer part of World War II. Uh, you know that whole, what, what was it called? Like the HQ, right? I, I think it's just called HQ. You can go and kind of hang out and, you know, like, uh, it's where you go prestige, it's where you go do, uh, join the different, you get your orders from and all that. I just want to see if this works. Maybe you stun a zombie? Yeah, it does. Okay. That's so weird. No! Oh, no. I forgot. Dude, I've been playing too much MW3. I pulled my trigger to drive for the gas instead of just pushing forward. Okay, we're going to have to wait a second. And you know what? We might as well just go ahead and put uh, Dead Wire on our gun now. Oh! You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna let things get out of control just because I'm messing around now. Let's go uh, get the part for the Chrysalax over at uh, Jim's Donuts. And we could probably afford a flamethrower now, right? So. Uh, <clears throat> the jet gun will be back soon. Well, it's already been leaked that the jet gun is coming back in the next game. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, they better fix it, make it better, but. So we'll see. I mean, it, it, you know, kind of like with the VR11, they kind of changed it up a bit for this game. All right. It just blew up. <laughs> of course, it was the first zombie that I, I see over here, and it blew up immediately. That's, that's awesome. Gotta love this game sometimes, dude. Call of Duty, man. Just how they do you. Body drops. Uh, body drops. By the way, did you guys watch Three Body Problem? <clears throat> oh, we can actually get some right over here. Like lambs to slaughter. Um, I won't spoil anything if you didn't see it. It was good, though not great. Like it has a lot of potential. It's kind of, it was one of those. It's kind of like the um, only murders in the building for me. It's like it's fun, it's it's good, but it could be it could be great. Like it's you can see it, it's kinda right there, but it they didn't get there. 
And that's kind of frustrating, but again, it was still good. Like, I'm, I really hope they get a Season 2. Fallout, definitely getting a Season 2. Amazon Prime already announced that, so that's great, because I really dug that show. Took my time with that, too. I didn't binge the hell out of it. Like, I didn't sit there and normally with those kinds of shows. I just watch, you know, in like one night. Uh, but I spread that over like three days. Ooh, fascinating. It summons enemies to okay, so there's three itself. waves of this. You got the dogs. Then you have the Mimics or, or in the Tempest, and I don't remember the Mimic and Tempest, which order they came in, but... That's how you know you're done with it. Was that...? I thought I saw a red guy. Okay, Tempest. Second Tempest. Your death brings me at least some time. There we go. Two of these guys, uh, two of these guys, and then we'll get two mimics as well. And we'll do this without flipping around, and that's awesome. Okay, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> I guess probably zombies will come here to quit with uh, the black ops. Go for them. So I hope this is going to be fun. Uh, early in the nineties for this game. Oh, that's my <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we can take that again. We don't need... Don't need, but do I want? Let's see. Okay, let's go pick up the part. Pick up the part. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go get the, uh, we gotta get some perks, too, is what we gotta do. Uh, let's go get this thing from the from the uh, TV repair shop again we'll do this so that's so weird like if you stun a zombie it activates like I mean it doesn't make sense but you know okay that didn't work that time can you oh that was the last one I had okay looks like I'm gonna have to go get dead wire god damn dude is it only one time that that works? Is that the thing? Or was he too far away? I'm not sure. That's all right. We'll go get it. Uh, there are rumors we're getting uh, two ground-based in Gulf War. First island map and a city map. Yeah, there's been stuff that's found. I mean, the only time we didn't get more than one map at launch was Cold War. And again, they made it during a pandemic. So it makes sense. And then everything that followed, you know, in that game was the reused asset stuff because, again, they made it during the pandemic. So, um, all of that stuff makes sense. So, probably we will. And there's also rumors that we're, I don't know if you guys remember them, but you know, like how we've been getting, um, if you digitally pre order the game. So, the last couple of years, you've been getting early access to the campaign, like a week early. And there's rumors that this year it'll be uh, a week or even up to three weeks early access to a zombies map. I have no idea if that's true. I would love it. So, let, let's say there are two maps that are scheduled to be released uh, on the game's release. Uh, so, two maps to come out at the game's release. And. Um, if you digitally pre-order, you get one, even if it's a week, just a week early, that's fine. Let's just call it a week just for simplicity's sake. And then the day of the game actually coming out, we get the, we get the second map. Um, God, Lee, come on. So I'd be perfectly happy with that. And honestly, just selfishly, as a YouTuber, that would be great too, because it's not like two things at once that I have to make two guides on how to find this, how to do that, how to whatever. Um, it's like when BO4 came out and they had four maps, like that to me was just way too much. That was overload. I don't I don't think that was a good idea. So we're not gonna be able to, oh, we can. Oh, shoot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Flamethrower, bring in the heat. There we go. Okay. Well, certainly ripped his heart out. Actually, so before we do the um, the next part, let's go in here because we don't want to get the rounds to get too high. We're going to go build the Chrysalax because now we have all the parts for it. So we're going to go because now we have to get melee kills. 
Do you know any idea, Max, if she was uh, into the Dark Ages for MW3? Do you know any idea, Maxis? She was into the Dark Ether for MW3 zombies, you know. Um, I mean, she... Well, we're going to see her go into the Dark Ether at the end of this map. Now, this was 30... 25 years ago, according... In-game. In so, Modern Warfare 2... the uh, Modern Warfare 3, rather. The game we're playing right now, the current game, takes place in, I think, 2021, which is approximately 25 years ahead of this game. You know, in the future of this game. So, um, is she in there the whole time? I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to find that out. I know if you guys have been following... I'm not going to spoil it. Like, just I'm not just going to tell you guys right now. Um, but I know who... If you... Again, with the end of um, Acts 3 in MW3, we see a dark ether entity. I know who that is for sure. Um, there was questions of is it Maxis? Is it maybe Ava? Is I mean it's a female form, obviously, and it's kind of like there's only so many people it can be. But I know for sure who it is. So is Sam in there for that long? Perhaps. And remember, time is like one day here is like ten days. I mean, yeah. It's like 10 days in the Dark Ether. So if she's been in there for two, 25 years, Dark Ether time, that's 250 years. So, um, but I don't think so. Because, I mean, we're going to be playing Gulf War Zombies, which is five years later. Um, and that's where we're going to see Sam. Why is my dead wire not going off? Oh, dude. Once you do it once, you don't have to do it. Why am I stuck on a zombie body? Fuck you! The hell is that? Visual glitch? Okay, is this the last? Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Dude, that was annoying. Sorry that I swore. There. I'm trying not to do that on stream. As much as. And it's so we like just going driving the using the sticks and not the triggers at all for back or forward. Like it's it's surprisingly difficult to like re get used to in, in my head. A monitor. You need one for your neutralizer. It's not ideal, but it'll work in a pinch. Okay. Um, so yeah, by the time Gulf War comes out, we're going to see Sam again for sure during that, and that'll be five years. So she's, I think we can, it'd be safe to say, although we don't know anything for sure yet, that she's not been in, like, you know, the, uh, the Dark Eats for the entire time since, you know, between Cold War and Modern Warfare 3. I mean, I think that's, we can easily say that, because I'm virtually certain we're going to see her again in the next game. There's no reason why we wouldn't. She's one of our two main characters, basically her and Eddie. And then we have just some generic operators. So, like, we're gonna see her, talk to her. Is she gonna go bad? I mean, that's kind of the real question to me is, like, what happened to <clears throat> Zykov in this game? That's who the Forsaken is. He spent so much time there, he got transformed ultimately into the Forsaken. This big monster kind of a thing. Um, so I have everything. We can go into the... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, so is she going to be like a bad guy? <clears throat> probably, you know, we'll probably have to do something with that. But we'll see. I would imagine we're going to fight her or whatever. Yeah, Max, if she was dead. No, she never died. She was turning into a zombie this whole time with 30 years ago. No, 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 no. She definitely did not turn into a zombie. She was not dead. <clears throat> Uh, the thing uh, that would make her, this is Gulf War Zombies if they got rid of Strike Team and had a return. <laughs> Dude, it's one of the things I think they need, really need for this game to be, Zombies game to be really successful is, uh, again, get us a crew, a dedicated crew again. Not these generic operators. It's terrible. There's nobody to emotionally invest in. So the story, we're, we're, we just don't care that much. 
like at the end of this game, this map here that we're about to see, like the characters get led away in handcuffs and you're kind of like, oh, which one was that? Oh, yeah, 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 that's Strauss, right? That's his name, Strauss? Yeah, okay. Like we don't care that much because we don't really know them. Anyway. Yeah, I see. I think one of the things that's gonna happen, or could happen, I don't think it's going to happen per se, but I think it definitely could happen. And I wouldn't mind at all. So we see Peck at the end of this game. We're and again, we're we're gonna see it here in about ten minutes. Um, that he goes uh, after you know all of our crew are led away and all that kind of stuff. They they all go to jail, and then we see Peck. It says five years later, right? So which would be like 1991. So again, the start of the Gulf War around that time. And he goes into this fishing hut, and he's like, I want to rent a boat to take me, uh, you know, the guy's like, where, where do you want to go? He points to a spot on the map that's, like, just below Japan. Um, so I think that's kind of where this, they mention also, like, the that, uh, I'm sorry to keep pausing, but th that our crew has been taken away to this special facility that's kind of like it's a jail it's like it's a super secret black site kind of a thing like nobody knows about it it's not on the books anywhere it's very 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 secret um but peck being a kind of a double agent and involved in stuff let's assume that he knows right or he's found out somehow so i what i would like to see for the first map that we go to, this island map, which, again, which we think is probably is, is leaked out, which we think it's going to be, which would absolutely make sense for where we're going to go, like where he points on the map. Um, if, if you look up B-O-N-I-N, Bonin Island, um, it's going to take you, it's, like a, it's a whole archipelago, it's a string of um, islands in the Pacific below Japan. Anyway, so if he is like, if he, Peck, hires a mercenary squad kind of a thing and that's our crew and our first mission the first map is to go into break into that facility that super secret jail slash lab slash whatever military facility we're breaking into a prison kind of a thing and breaking out the characters strauss weaver uh major carver you know um dr gray we're breaking them out of the military jail that they're in there like i would love to see that i think that'd be really cool all right, so let's let's continue with this uh, this Easter egg here and actually get this done. Uh, I think because Activision had to force microtransactions to stop his mother screwed over the rise of the new cut of the gobble gum and the go. Uh, see, that's something I'm really not looking forward to is gobble gums. I really wish they would have just been done with that. Dude, I can't handle your neutralizer. What are you doing? There we go. There you are. Where are you going? If you just... Dude. Open up, buddy. Alright, let me just clear out a little bit of this. We gotta go get some armor. This crystal axe is so incredible. Okay, let's go get some armor. We'll take you out. Great, okay. Let's go. All right, we're just going to go up here because we're going to take the uh, zip line down to the other side. Uh, you know what I don't want to know? I don't know what this guy's name is. My brain's running out. Uh, I don't think you, Ava Jansen, was really not worried too much, like a few seconds for the zombies. I mean, oh, oh, <clears throat> did she turn into a zombie? I mean, she didn't turn into a zombie either, but she had like the purple in her eyes, like Sam does in this. So she's obviously been affected by the dark ether. To what degree and how is the real question, right? You are finished. Your reputation will be in ruins. Your body will be buried, and your name will be <laughs> Hey, asshole. This creature. It's gonna kill all of us. It doesn't give a damn about east or west. So you have two choices. Be useful and help. Oh my god, can I shoot this thing? Did I get it? No. 
Contact down. I know not of its origin. Only its power. There we go. Pick up all of this. Come on. Where's Chunky? Where's the abomination? Okay, now I hear it. Where the hell is it? Oh. Come on, dude. You charge. Yeah, good for you. I am extremely good with no. knives. Throw it. Did I not pick it up? Or really did it not register that I picked it up? Oh, for the love of God, pick it up, dude, and just swallow it. <laughs> Never. Oh, I was going to say something. Let's not say that. Come on. There we go. You. I smashed another one. Just the one more. Okay. Um. Now in this game, it's five grand, fifteen grand, thirty grand for pack a bunch, right? It's not five ten. I always, I always forget. Uh, well, I need to go by. All right, Fred Bear, take care, man. Appreciate you dropping by. <clears throat> They're about to have microtransactions. They're gonna have plenty of microtransactions. See, the thing is that they messed up with. I think anyway is that they thought um, they thought that it would be easier to sell microtransactions if they didn't have operators I mean like dedicated crew were in uh, so that's why they went with the operators I think anyway but it's exactly the opposite like it's so much easier to like the only bundle I've ever bought Is the Maxis bundle that I'm where uh, I have on right now? There we go. Terrible at shooting this thing. Come on. Where are you? There you are. I don't know where that blade just went, but okay. Can you die for me now? Alright. Let's assemble that device. Um, so let's get double papped before we go. We are ready to go into the boss fight, by the way, now, but we're gonna get double papped and we're probably gonna pick up like a death machine. Um, I mean, do we, do we want anything else? Get off of me. Okay, we have enough to double tap now. Uh, well, we probably want a couple more perks, though, right? We want, like, dead shot. would be nice. Extra uh, headshot damage. I don't know why it's doing that. Like, if you hold down the left trigger, it's supposed to do that. And I've done it a couple times just here, and, and it has didn't work. I don't like when things don't work what they're supposed to. But that's alright. Uh, I would much prefer gobble gums over purchasable operators. Um, well, I don't want purchasable operators. I just want to have a dedicated crew where, you know, we can then give us skins for it. Like, that would be fine. I'm totally alright with that. Um, I don't want... 
I don't want to just play as these random people that I don't know and don't care about. Like, it's part of the whole reason why, we, you know, the first person aspect to it is it's like you doing it. But when you take, you, you know, you just make it some generic person that doesn't have anything to say the whole time. I mean, it's just boring. So I hope they give us, I don't know, I hope they give us something. Uh, we'll do the... We'll, we'll, we're just gonna get a few more kills and then we'll, uh, then we'll go. Uh, curious to know what your top three zombies maps... Oh, my top three zombies maps ever! Origins, number one. Zombies in Space Line, number two. DE, probably number three. Um... Shadows of Evil is really cool. I love the art direction and the, the art style, everything about that. It is really cool. It's... Uh, it's, it's really cool. Um... But DE, you know, castle, the whole thing, like there's a lot of history, a lot of story in there. That's it's a fun, it's a funny trick to do. Um, and the thing with Shadows of Evil is solo, and I'm a pretty much, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time I play solo. I don't really want that. Uh, you cannot. Every, you can do everything in that stupid map, the, all the Easter eggs, except for the very last step, which is just. Absolutely infuriating, and I have no idea what they were thinking with that. Like, it just makes no sense. Uh, you broke my heart. To, uh, you didn't include Mob in your top three? I, look, I think Mob is very good. The story's uh, incredible. The Easter egg is pretty lame, man. Let's be honest. You build the part to the parts to the the plane, and then you get you collect gas. I mean, it's a very, very cool story, and I really like the, the map. The Easter egg is a big letdown, man. The Easter egg itself, the actual steps, like what you're doing, I think is a pretty big letdown. It's something we, like, most people don't talk about. <laughs> it's just because it, it is such a beloved map. Um, and, I, again, I totally get that part of it, but, um, yeah, the Easter egg is just kind of... I don't know. It, it, I think it's a letdown, and it's not that it's it's not a, it's not fun or it's not great even. Uh, we're talking top three though out of everything ever. Like yeah, it just doesn't cut it for me. As far as you know, breaking into the, even the top five necessarily. Um, that's not to say again. It's not to say that it's not good. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's not your favorite ever. Then it's you think it's terrible. How dare you? Like, no, that's not what I said. but whatever. I mean, it's all we do here on on YouTube is overreact and make huge statements, huge sweeping. It's the best. It's the worst. You know, there's no subtlety to anything anymore. It's just it's incredible or it's awful, and that seems to be like it. Didn't want to kill all of them. Is that the last one? Enemy but. appears KIA. Okay, he survived. All right, uh, let's go get our last couple of perks here, and then we can go build our transportation cart thingy. Uh, well, I don't even want that. Uh, sure. Okay. Let's do that, and then. Okay, let's go up here. Do we want anything else? Do we need anything else before we go? Oh, I want to get a death machine. That's right. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, I will also self-revive. Totally forgot that we had actually gone down because <laughs> we were just kind of pushing our way through. Like, hey, excuse me, zombies. Step aside. Uh, you can download a mod in Shadow. Yeah, I mean, I understand that, but it's not the same. You got to take it as it was designed. I mean, as far as we're judging it uh, for what it actually is, like, yeah. Uh, are you worried that there's a huge possibility we're getting two seasons of DLC maps for the next one? Because it's rumored COD 2025 will be a sequel to BO2. Two seasons of DLC? I mean, we're going to get like six seasons next year, like we do pretty much every year. Um, and the... The whole rumor as far as like the uh, what's going to come like a BO2 thing, it's going to be, as far as I know, it's basically going to be like this year was where it's a remake of 
you know, Modern Warfare 3 this year is a remake of Modern Warfare 2 2009, multiplayer-wise, right? Um, and it's what... The funny thing is, I had been saying, you know, once they came out that Treyarch was going to take an extra year off because, you know, they had worked... For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. They were taking the extra year. So what they weren't on the three years cycle, they were on... They added one more year, so they were on a four-year. I thought this year... You know, for the Modern Warfare 3, instead of releasing Modern Warfare 3 at the time, didn't even know what that was going to be. I was like, they should just remake, remaster, really, uh, BO2, and make all of the Easter eggs soloable uh, for the you know for the zombie stuff. If they could clean up transit, like do the fog better with the current gen graphics, um, do something about the um, the denizens to make them way less annoying, because uh, that could be an all time. I think, an all-time great map, if they fix it a bit. So, yeah, as far as I'm aware, what's going to happen for 2025 is a Black Ops 2 remake re slash remaster, much like we have this year with Modern Warfare 3 being a remaster slash remake of Modern Warfare 2 2009. So, um, uh, they were basically... Uh, I was off by like a year, but it looks like I'm going to get what I had asked for. Hope, you know, we'll see. So, and I'm totally okay with them remaking, remastering. Instead of, in, like, instead of getting new maps, we're going to get BO2 again because I really wasn't even playing uh, that stuff back then. So, I'd be perfectly happy with that. I actually want that to happen. I'm trying, but I'm not sure I can do it alone. Hang in there, Sam. The team's on their way. But, you know, again, they have to make it, like, all soloable. So, like, Buried has to be done solo. Um, I know that you can do Transit solo, but it's not really designed for that. You're kind of... You're just chucking EMPs into the wind, you know, like, way off into the distance. And, like, gosh, I hope that hits. It's in the general direction. You know, that kind of a thing. So, um, if they designed it, like I said, to be for solo players as well, like, yeah. That, I think that would be great, man. Like really great, could be awesome, and I think like, Transit, like I said, has the potential to be like a truly great map. But we'll see. You know, we'll see what they actually do with it. Lots of zombies. Okay. Dude, this part getting down here is harder than the actual boss itself. I think. Pick it up. Uh, oh my god! Jump over the stupid railing! Why did I go down? They blew up! Oh, 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 oh. don't piss me off today, game. Because I'm not doing this again. This is not my favorite map. Jump up. Okay, did I not pick up the crystal? <sighs> That's something that really has always driven me absolutely nuts about this part this with this map is getting over these railings for whatever reason they just it's not smooth and i don't know if it's because you're holding a two-handed weapon so you don't have like a hand free to grab you know in the game's mind like to get over the railing but oh like that like you just kind of pause up top there for a while and there's like a delay from when you actually land to when you can actually take out your weapon again and swing it again like oh god it's infuriating just like just work please we don't even have points to get our oh that's annoying man okay do we have enough i don't okay let's not go down Maxis, the uh, the town oh i forgot to switch Lads are here. Oh, let's finish this 
Well, let's see what happens now. No, Ooh, dude, that lock on for the aim is just nutty sometimes. All right, let's let's get these guys over here and clean them up, build them up. Never dare get so. Okay. I had wanted to. Uh, Switch over to Ring of Fire, but I totally forgot. So let's get Sam filled up again. We can blast one of his shoulders. There we go, swap that out. Just about done. There we go. This is not okay, we're gonna do both of our shoulders now. By two seasons, I mean twelve seasons. Oh, two years worth, basically. You're saying? Um, yeah. I mean, well, again, it's not gonna be. You know, it's gonna be Gulf War and then uh, BO2, whatever. So. We'll see what happens with that, by the way. that None of that is um, definite. It just seems like that's why all the, the rumors oh, and leaks that have been coming out, like that's what they're saying. So we'll see. I don't know. You know, again, I'm not sure how true that actually is, but we'll see. Uh, of all the maps, Transit has the most potential to be uh, a remade into a fan favorite. Yeah, I, mean, I completely agree. Did you ever do the Blood of the Dead? Right? Yes. Yes. Blood is fine. Um... Blood's fine. On BO4, I like all of the Ether maps more than I like. Uh, excuse me, I like all of the Chaos maps more than I like the Ether maps. I just, I do. Um, I think Dead of the Night is way underrated. Uh, I personally really love Voyage of Despair, which I know most people hate, but I like it a lot. Um, hell, man! Don't be a dick. Okay, let's get over here and get some kills. Come on. Back here. Come on back. Ah. I can't afford to go down because I don't have self revive anymore. Okay, let's get in here. Come on back over. Dude. Alright. Like two more bullets. Literally. Okay, this one's done. <coughs> Excuse me. The BO2 nostalgia is crazy. Yeah, I mean, it'll be kind of nuts, really. Ooh. Dude, don't set me on fire. Come on. Oh, I already cracked it. Okay. I am extremely good with Okay, she got the cannon. So we're good to go. You cut that a little close, man. I don't know. We got the host coming down here, like just not like. You got to be in exactly the right spot to pick up those stupid crystals, and then like hopping over that. Like I said, hopping over that railing. I think it's because you've got a two-handed weapon out that it just doesn't allow. Um, 
you know, like it, it, it does a, a, an awkward kind of like it just jumps on top of it and then you kind of drop down from it or jump down from it. Instead of just like grabbing hold and climbing over. But. We're getting reports about break zones expanding around the globe. You will not Hopefully it won't be ransacked by modders the way the other two currently is. Well, I mean... Not as long as I am here. Sam. If if Whatever if that was the doing, case, <laughs> then they really messed I'm up with their coding, like really messed up. Person, like they could go back I and fix. Am a good soul. Let's let this play out real quick. I know what I have to do. I'm sorry. This is the only way. I had to turn that. Okay, before this happens, mute sound, does that, okay, because the, the music that plays over the end of this is copyrighted, and I don't want to have my stream copyright claimed again every time I play this stupid map. So Sam flew into him, did something to him, so like he basically turned into gas or whatever, and it gets sucked into the Sophia-like containment ball. So now Sam is in the dark ether and there is no gateway to get back. So that's why the gateway was his stomach. That's gone now. Um, and we don't have any portals. So that's going to be the reason why we're talking about Sam not being able to get back and why we have to like, much like Firebase Z, we had to, you know, it's going to be a little bit unfortunate. Like part of our mission, probably one of our first missions is going to be that we're going, um, you know, to, to release Sam from the Dark Ether exactly like we did on Firebase Z. So, I mean, it's not going to be like the exact same kind of a, a, a an Easter egg, obviously, because most of what we did in that game really had nothing to do with the Dark Ether itself. Like, we weren't messing with it. We were just doing things on the base to open it up. Um, so, again, the Entity... Uh, Forsaken is in that Sophia like ball. Oh, that is not Sophia. Uh, it's not a version of Sophia. I think like the I think they've come out and said like it's got nothing to do with Sophia. It looks that way because I don't know why to be honest with you. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> they made it look exactly like Sophia from GK in Rev. Uh, so why they did that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Entity acquired, all breaches sealed. Max is locked within the dark ether. She is no longer a problem for Project Janus. Uh, divert strike team to Black Site 13. Okay, so that's going to be the island, I, I think. We're going to see where, um, where Peck points to on the map at like the kind of the, the very last thing that we see here. So this is all of our guys getting arrested there. We're going to see Eddie, of course. He's the director. Surprise, surprise of uh, Requiem, which is a division of the CIA. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I think what would be kind of fun, I think it could be a very cool way to introduce us to a new crew. So, like, we had the Primus crew, we have the Ultimus crew, we have um, uh, uh, the Victus crew, we have the Chaos crew, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. IW had their own crew, right? Um, even AW, Exo Zombies had a crew, uh, and <laughs> World War Two. Like this is the first game with just operators, which was terrible uh, it, for me. And I think most everybody completely agrees. Just generic operators for zombies is a bad idea. It's not fun. It doesn't. It's not engaging either. So. Yeah, what I hope happens, at least to some degree, I hope... I mean, they could do whatever, and it could be way better than my idea, for sure. There's a reason why they get paid for it, and I don't. Um, so there's Eddie. Least surprising surprise at the end ever, right? It will be interesting to get more of his story, though, like what happened with him... I wonder if we get more like just the two of them growing up, you know, because at the end of BO4, 
they walk out of the dark into the light together into this world. Five years later, Japan. Oh, you know what? We can we can put the sound back on. I say, I need to rent a boat. Where do you need to go? Here. Bonin. Are you sure? There is nothing there. B O N I N. What is it you are looking for? You can look it up. It's a real place. It's part of a, an archipelago. Some old friends. Some old friends. So that could mean a lot. Like he wasn't friends with um with our crew, but he could be saying it kind of, you know, tongue and cheekly, like, hey, it's my buddies. Um Or it could be like the people that, you know, he had switched sides, you know, he went to work uh, with Kravchenko and and the Russians and Germans and whatever uh, to carry on the stuff that the Germans had been doing in World War II, rather, uh, you know, with the current Russians. Um, it could literally be those guys, so we'll see. But, yeah, I think a great way to start this, this new game, Gulf War, would be we have Peck hiring this group of m ragtag group of mercenaries, right? Um, they can be from different places and different, you know, whatever. The great thing about mercenaries is most of them, usually all of them, are former military. But it doesn't have to be, like, the U.S. military. It can be whatever goddamn military, right? Um, so we can get, like, the kind of... Think of, like, the movie Predator. Like Schwarzenegger and Jesse Ventura and Carl Weathers. And, you know, like, kind of a this group of dudes or whatever. I mean, you know, it could be ladies as well. And so we get introduced, he hires these four people, right? Because it's always four in zombies, right? It's a crew of four. And he wants to go break out our guys because of what has happened. Everything in here, like Kravchenko was, one, he cut out Peck's eye. Um, and through all this stuff, he got him blown up. Uh, he was working with, in four, Valentina. Valentina turned out to be this thing that it was in cahoots with the forsaken she thought it was her dad uh yeah that's mauer that whole story on mauer to toten um so he's gonna try to get back to the good graces of the u.s let's say or he's got the information or whatever and he's he's just coming back and so this first island map like I said, I think a, I just think it would be a good idea for a story. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, obviously. Um, that Peck is hiring this group of mercenaries. So we're going to have like a dedicated crew again to go rescue our guys that are in prison at the Black Site 13, uh, which is on this island, Bonin, which is a real place south of Japan. Uh, it is not where Zetsubo Noshima was. Zetsubo Noshima was in Micronesia, which is like way southeast of where Bonin is. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing Bonin, I'm sure. Uh, you can correct me if you like, but uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. So I had initially thought it was going to be like maybe we're going back to Zetsubo, which I think would be really cool, but it's a completely different place, com like not even really close to each other. So um, it's not that. Like, a, it might have been like a Division 9 kind of a thing, although it can still be something like Division 9. So we'll see as far as that goes. But, like, yeah, yeah, we break into, it's a prison. Like, a prison map would be fun. Like, we were just talking about um, Mob of the Dead, you know, Jockley, one of your favorite maps of all time. Um, I think most people really, like, whether it's their favorite or not, top three or top five or not, they still like Mob of the Dead, right? Like, Mob of the Dead. I mean, most of that, I think, is the characters. Although Alcatraz is a cool place as well. But you could do another kind of a prison kind of a thing. Cod loves to go back and do, like, take from the past, steal from the past. Uh, so that if they were to do something like that, it would be the least surprising thing ever. But it also could be a very good, I mean, it's, prisons are the reason why there's a lot of movies and, you know, there's been TV shows and video games or whatever uh, that deal in and around prisons is because it's a dynamic interesting place to tell a story so i i think that would work for just from a story perspective i think it would be good also it would give us a new crew and introduce us to a crew when we would just be getting a crew so friggin awesome um and that could kind of kick things off and then like the whole first map could be us like just trying to 
you know, rescue our team, rescue our four people and get them out of this prison. And then we move on from there, like the second map, which comes out like, so that would be like the, the early access map. And then the day one map um is like the next part and we're trying to break sam out although i have a feeling if if well it just popped into my head just now like if they want to do kind of like the whole george lucas with star wars thing it you know it rhymes so it's like pulling from the past you see the same kind of things happening again and again the second map in this game gulf war could be like the second map in cold war which was firebase z where we rescue sam from the dark ether could be that i think it's more likely that we get sam back at the end of gulf war um like that'll be the final thing we do is rescue her but if we do that then we're not going to learn anything really about her time in the dark ether which if we're looking you know over the scope the long haul like that's not a bad thing but if we want to get more story as far as Gulf War, that would be terrible because we're not going to get really any of her time in uh, in the dark either. Whereas in like Gulf War with all the, I mean, Cold War with all of the intel that we had, you know, we went over this a couple of streams. There's so much stuff. And it's all like just her having these conversations while she was locked up uh, by Weaver. So it's her talking to him, uh, her talking to Dr. Gray, all like all kinds of stuff and what you know like just what's in her head how she is what's going on with her they started testing her uh the director was giving her these things to do you know like if she test her powers like could she affect what was going on in the next room uh think of again call of duty borrows heavily from pop culture uh all the time it's uh, in a lot of ways sam in uh, cold war was 11 in stranger things like a lot of ways uh, including her psychic powers kinetic powers uh, psychokinetic powers uh, you know which she was trying to crush the coke can in Stranger Things and in this game they were th the director threatened to shoot not so her dog unless Sam killed a guy in, in the next room and she did um, so anyway I don't know it, it's it's it could be good uh of course it could be good gulf war i really hope it is i think it will be good now will it be great i don't know like people we all have this benchmark of bo3 and if it doesn't rise to bo3 then it's kind of crap which is just ridiculous um like if a movie comes out and it's not as good as the godfather it doesn't mean it's not a good movie it's just not the best movie ever it's you know so I would like to see as far as like a difficulty level, like a solving Easter eggs kind of a level, somewhere between Cold War and BO3, somewhere in there would be nice. Cold War was too easy. Um, not that BO3 was particularly difficult, but there are just kind of random steps. It's really hard, like I'm saying, like when you're trying to make stuff that is makes complete logical sense, like a puzzle to solve an Easter egg. If, if, the clues make complete logical sense. It's hard to make it, especially when you've got a million people, a few hundred thousand people playing at the same time, sharing everything online, on Twitter, on Reddit, on wherever, on Discord, that you can like make it difficult enough that it doesn't get solved for a little while, a couple of days, versus a couple of hours, which is what happened in Cold War. Um, and it was, you know, like... I just remember one of the huge knocks against Raven the Redwoods back in the day was, man, it only took eight hours to solve. This is ridiculous. Like, IW doesn't know what they're doing. They're doing a shit job. It only took eight hours. There was not one Easter egg in this game that took longer than, I think, two and a half. It might have been three hours in all of Cold War. And for the most part, people like Cold War. Like, quite a lot. What's up, Walt? <clears throat> um... So I don't think necessarily time in like, but again, then you 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 get you find yourself in like the bone step in Revelations where it took eleven days, nine days, whatever that was, because it made absolutely no sense and it was virtually impossible to see. Like to this day, I don't know how people actually saw those bones in the various spots uh, to even shoot them to like get lucky to move on to the next step. Like I have no idea. 
So it doesn't need to be like if it's those kinds of steps. Those steps to me are just kind of dumb. Um, so that like there needs to be a well, I don't know if there needs to be, but it's not the worst thing in the world if you have some steps that are like you got to just literally chuck some grenades around, man. Try to blow some shit up. Maybe a wall will open up. Maybe a thing will fall down. It was on the roof or a shelf or whatever. I don't know. Like it's not the worst thing in the world to have some of those kinds of steps. Um, they've had one extra year to do this. Does it mean they were working that entire year on creating this? I don't know. I think probably some of them were taking a break. Some of them were like, oh, we finally have a breather, man. We've been, we worked, for, we only had two years where instead of our normal three years plus, we did it during a pandemic while working from home. So maybe this first year, we're just kind of taking a break <laughs> and relaxing. And it's much more of a casual, well, what do we want to do rather than like into the nitty gritty kind of stuff. So all of this is pure speculation on my part. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, like you guys, I just want it to be good. I mean, obviously, we all want it to be good. But um, I do think, unfortunately, as far as for zombies and the zombies community goes, Gulf War is, uh, it's going to kind of make, it could really kind of make or break the game mode, period. Uh, if you think of what we've had, like, I think Modern Warfare 3 Zombies was really fun and addictive, but they just didn't keep updating it. They just didn't follow through. So now, in not just now, but I mean, it's been like for a couple of months, it's been like, this is really boring now. There's nothing to do anymore. And that's very boring. Um, so they really kind of blew it as far as that goes. And from what we're seeing and what the, uh, the leakers have found and the people that, you know, go through the lines of code and like try to find all this kind of stuff, there's really not much more planned for the rest of the year. Um, so don't expect a lot. Season three reloaded. There is one more story mission coming up. Um, season four, what they found is there is nothing for zombies. Uh, season five, they have found that there is something else in there. And then really, I mean, there could be a season six, but at that point, uh, we know Gulf War is planning on coming out in October. So it's a month early. So will there even be a season six? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I think they kind of blew it. And then before that we had Vanguard, which was just, I mean, I honestly don't even consider it period. I just flat out don't consider it. But it's, I don't consider it a real game at all. Um, as far as like canon goes in the storyline, technically, yes, it's a prequel to a lot of the stuff that we had in, in, in uh, Cold War and uh, what the doctor's name, I forget. Basically the Strauss of uh, Vanguard. Uh, I really just don't consider that game, but that was a friggin' nightmare. It was just god awful. That was a slap in the face for zombies players. Um, so that's why, to me, Gulf War has so much riding on it as far as zombies goes. Like really, really, really a make or break uh, for the mode in general. Either that, or it's only going to ever be like every third year or however long they're going to go. Now, it could be every fourth year or whatever they're going to do going forward that there's even new zombies content coming out. Uh, for me, I would love to see zombies just go be its own separate standalone game. Just leave Call of Duty altogether. Like, break away from the annual launches. Be its own game. I don't care if it's paid DLC every time. If it's five bucks or whatever for the DLC each, season, each time they put something else out, fine. But just constantly update it for however long and before they put out like you know they maybe they create a new engine every third or fourth year and then you sell a new game and then that one you buy the dlc as you go so you get the base game with two maps let's say and then this like four season four dlcs throughout the year something along those lines i would really love to see that because the way they've been doing it i mean i have a whole lot of i would love a, a consulting gig over at <laughs> activision uh, or Xbox, you know, whoever's running the show, like actually the day to day. And like, you guys need to figure some shit out because it's too, everything is so scattershot now. Like it's just not, it's not flying, man. It's not working. 
So, whatever. All right. Uh, that's it. That's me blabbing at the end. Um, nobody's even here left anymore. And if you were watching this on VOD, you're definitely tuned out by now. So, uh, that's it. Have a great day. And I will catch you tomorrow, probably with more Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, but we'll see.